let's begin. We're gonna let you in on a little secret. Psychology rocks and also has a few tricks up its sleeve. Our minds are fascinating places, but they also are susceptible to little psychological tricks that can be used by anyone if they know what they are. What if you want someone to notice you? What are some things you can be doing to show them what a great person you are so they fall for you in no time at all? Well, if you look to psychology, there are obvious and not so obvious tips. So here are six psychological tricks that can make anyone fall for you. Number one, mirror your partner. Have you heard of the chameleon effect? It was explored in psychology studies. The chameleon effect is more focused on how we mimic others subconsciously to get them to like us or relate to us. It's sort of how we try to fit in per se. People love people similar to them. So if you're like them in their movement, they may start subconsciously thinking you too are alike. Mimicking the other person's gestures and movements will likely get them to think of you as similar to them, as long as you're not doing it too much or too obviously. They may subconsciously find themselves liking something about you that they just can't quite put their finger on. Oh, yeah, it's themselves. Two, actually spend time with your partner. Yeah, this is as old school as it gets, but there's some psychological research backing this, obviously especially if you have a crush on someone in a class or at work. It's what psychologists call the mere exposure effect. People prefer others if they are familiar with them. Even if you don't do something interesting or say something utterly fascinating. I mean, those knock-knock jokes can only last so long, right? According to a psychological study by R.B. Zajonk, the mere exposure effect is a psychological phenomenon in which people find themselves preferring someone or something simply because they developed familiarity with them. When a person is repeatedly exposed to a certain stimuli, that person develops familiarity with the stimuli and therefore prefers its presence. This is why certain products and ads are constantly being repeated during your favorite programming's commercial breaks. The more familiar you are with something, the more you'll start to notice it. Number three, show you are capable and intelligent, but still human. Did you know, surprisingly, most people don't like someone who is perfect? Why, you may ask? Well, people can get intimidated by those who apparently come across as too perfect. A researcher from the University of Texas found that if you make some mistakes, but still show that you are capable and intelligent, it may make others see you as more attractive. In the study, researcher Elliot Aronson had people rate fake test takers based on their attractiveness. Test takers would either do great on a test, mediocre, or poorly. Now, some test takers would act clumsy and spill coffee at the end of an interview. After, their scores were revealed. People rated the test takers who spilled coffee at the end of their interview the highest on the attractiveness scale. Meaning, people want to see you are intelligent and capable, but that you aren't perfect. They want to see your human side. But when you show you're capable and yet still relatable as a human being who makes mistakes, people tend to like you more. Number four, show your positive side. People enjoy being around people who are happy. If someone's encounters with you are mostly positive, they will start to associate positive emotions with you and might even fall for you. Thing is, if someone is happy and sticks to that emotion, others around them will start feeling better as well. A research paper from the University of Hawaii and Ohio State University suggests that many individuals can unconsciously tell what mood you're in just by being around you. Seems fair, right? So if you're in a good mood, emit that energy. Bring out your positive chi. Whoever you're around will likely sense your mood and start to feel happier around you too. Number five, wear the color red. In an experiment published by the European Journal of Social Psychology, researchers found men are more likely to be attracted to the color red on women. In the experiment, men were tasked with asking questions to women women clothed in red and women clothed in blue. The men chose to ask the women in red. In a second experiment, men chose to sit closer to women in red versus the women in blue. As the research paper states, research shows from the first time that color influences men's behavior towards women in the romantic realm. Color, specifically red, appears to serve as a basic non-lexical prime that can influence important reproduction-relevant behavior in similar fashion across species. 
So next time you go out on a date, bring out the red outfit. And number six, make a good first impression. It's no secret that first impressions leave a lasting mark. According to a study published in the Journal of Social Psychological and Personality Science, first impressions from a photograph of someone can influence another's judgment of them, even after they've met. In the study, people would evaluate others based on their photograph and then meet them. The first impression through the photograph influenced the individual's judgment of the person even after they met them formally. So when you do decide to muster up the courage to ask your crush out, it's important to leave a lasting impression, a good one. It's a good start for one, and sooner or later, they may just be falling for you. So not being late to first meetings and emitting that positive chi is key. We hope we were able to give you a little insight into some of the ways that can help you catch that special someone's attention. Which trick would you like to try? Let us know in the comments below.